Um, we talked earlier about how this can do almost anything. We've got to cram it here. Great. You up for the challenge? Oh, absolutely. All right, Kyle. For sure. Take it away, buddy. So in looking at, looking at the edge, one thing that's important to me as a knife enthusiast, and I know it's important to you guys, you don't want to remove any more material than you have to, right? We're just wanting to create a sharp edge. This edge isn't damaged. There's no need to use 120 grit. Right. You okay with that? I think, I think so, we, yeah. we can coach the method <laughs> and get the job done, but we can do it on a finer grit belt and just touch it up. I'm gonna use the X22, which is equivalent to about a thousand grit belt. Okay, I'm gonna get myself set up here. Tracking right here on the side, so when I, when I spool up the machine, uh, I can just quickly track here, okay. get my belt perfectly centered, then I'm ready to go. Okay. I'll also set the speed when I do that too, to get that low speed we were talking about earlier. <laughs> And all the same rules apply. You, know, you want to place the knife, you want to come around and stop on the tip. But you can see I have so much access to get around that curved edge yeah. on the karambit. Not a problem at all. One thing I noticed is you were only using one finger on the knife while you were doing that. Is that just to keep light pressure or is there more to it than that? Stand horizontal is, is key, okay. right? When we start on the reference plate, you know, we want to stay horizontal when we sharpen. I find that having two hands on the knife gives me better control. It does, it's really doing two things for me. One, it helps me stay level. Sure. Right. I can feel when I start to wander. Okay. Right? So I want to I want to use this to stay perfectly horizontal when I'm coming around. But what it also does is it gives me a fulcrum. Ah. Uh, right. Yeah. On a different shape blade, you know, on the karambit, I'm still you know keeping horizontal and idling around. But if this knife is the other way, it gives me a perfect fulcrum. Sure. To pivot the knife. So it's just slow, steady, controlled motion as I'm traversing across the belt. Give you really consistent results. Cool. 